Hey guys, what's up? Q&A episode 2. Today the question comes from LG Tova on YouTube. I hope I'm saying his name right. And he is saying, in your Witcher video, you sort of blamed Sony and Microsoft for making weak consoles and holding back the PC version. But wouldn't you agree with me that it's also the consumer's fault for being so damn cheap? I mean, do people actually expect these companies to make beefy consoles at a cheap price? We all know how bad the PS3 did and it was actually a pretty beefy console when it first launched. Now he's got a few interesting points there. I guess the key question question that he's asking is like is it the consumer's fault or also the consumer's fault that pc games get downgraded because consumers are so as he calls it damn cheap i personally don't think the reason or like the main reason why people are buying consoles is because they want to save money because the the money argument is a little bit invalid for the 400 pounds that you buy a console for you can also get a pc with the equivalent power uh, or probably even more power so i don't think it's that in most cases uh, in some cases obviously it might be but i think the main reason is that people want a convenient experience i personally grew up with building pcs building networks and so it kind of comes naturally i will always be a PC gamer but at the same time I can understand for a lot of people like finding out what CPU fits on what main board and what graphics card goes with that and just looking into all that it can be quite intimidating if you've never done it before so a lot of people just go the easy way right they buy a console put it under their TV and connect two lines and that's it off you go on top of that I think for a lot of people consoles also hold kind of a nostalgic factor they always have been console gamers and they already bought you know the Dreamcast or the Nintendo NES and that's kind of their gaming history so it's, it's very hard to kind of let loose and let go of that and say no this time i'm not going for the easy way i'm not buying a console so i can see where people are coming from but i think one thing that a lot of people are forgetting is that by making that decision by buying a console rather than investing the time and research into a pc it kind of kickstarts a chain reaction everyone just buys the convenient gaming solution so everyone buys a console that makes sony and microsoft bigger now Sony and Microsoft are not exactly really friendly, positive, nice consumer oriented companies. These guys feel like they've got the monopole in gaming and I mean since the consoles are like worldwide the biggest install platform they kind of do have the monopole in gaming but the problem is that because they have it they're exploiting it they're like oh yeah we charge 20% more for all AAA games that just come out you know why because we can oh and you want to buy the new gamepad and another PS4 gamepad yeah well that's 40 or 50 bucks sorry for that yeah but it's a real great PS4 gamepad not to say that it's a bad gamepad I think the Xbox One and and the PS4 gamepads are like, they got a great finish and they feel really good and it's definitely a high quality gamepad, but it's not worth 40 or 50 pounds, right? That's completely ridiculous. So all accessories, whether it's gamepads or cables, are just ridiculously overpriced. Then they ask you for monthly payments to play online, which in my opinion is also ridiculous. And then to really round it off and put like the top icing on the cake is that Sony and Microsoft in the past, we've seen it with Watch Dogs. I mean, obviously it's all rumors and speculation, but I think a lot of points actually spoke forward that they approach developers and said look can you not make the pc version like look a bit worse than you actually can because it makes our consoles look bad and here's a bunch of money here's a snake leather suitcase full of money please do that you know we would really appreciate that and i mean honestly all that stuff that i just listed like overpriced accessories you know overpriced games paying online for no reason there is no reason that you have to pay online you know they're like oh but we need to maintain the network and pay all the servers yeah what about steam most of the features that you find in psn and xbox live you also find in steam and they are not charging a monthly fee because it's basically like an invented fee. They're like just greedy and they're like, oh yeah, look, we could actually charge for online play and people have to pay it. So if you actually add up all these costs, you want the second controller and you spend 20% more on every game. If you add all that up over one year, I think you could easily get a good PC for that. But the problem that I think a lot of PC gamers have with that is like obviously on one side that their games are getting downgraded and they have to suffer due to this kind of cocky and greedy behavior by companies like Microsoft and Sony. But it's also the general tone of like arrogance and lack of interest in actual gaming. Like if you just look at the stuff I just listed, it feels very much like the only thing they are after is like money. We want to turn around as much revenue as possible. Obviously, everyone wants to make money. Steam wants to make money. You know, everyone is just trying to make a buck here. That's fair. I'm not 
saying that's a bad thing, but I feel Microsoft and Sony overdoing it slightly and they are behaving in a very irrational and consumer unfriendly way. It's just they're exploiting people because they know that people will pay that extra money. And that's something that I personally have a problem with. And coming back to that original point where LG Tova asked to what extent people are actually responsible for downgrading games, that's what I mean. It kickstarts like a chain reaction. The moment you buy a console, the moment you make that decision to go with the easy way and buy a PS4 or an Xbox One and not invest the time and effort in like looking into PC gaming, you're giving power to these companies. These companies make very, very consumer unfriendly decisions based on that power that you gave them. And because of that, everyone is suffering. Now, please don't get me wrong. I don't want to hate against consoles. It's absolutely not that. I just wanted to point out these facts and kind of get your thoughts on it. Because in, to me, like as a PC gamer, it just doesn't make any sense like to support a system like this with your money and your decisions and then actually stand up and say, yeah, PS4 is the best thing ever or Xbox One is. I, I personally don't get it. So maybe you can explain that to me down in the comment section below. But please keep it reasonable because I think the main point here is that we're all gamers, right? It doesn't matter whether you're on the Wii U or on the Xbox One or the PS4 or the PC. It doesn't matter. We're all gamers and we love video games. We're fascinated by those. So I really don't want to start like a flame war with this. That would be completely pointless. But it would be nice to kind of have like a bit of a differentiated discussion going on. Because if we want to make gaming better, then I think we need to deny Sony and Microsoft this growth that they're experiencing because they clearly exploit their power and they are greedy and not actually interested in gaming. Uh, like I said earlier, Steam kind of shows you how it could be. They're not all perfect by no means. Obviously, they have their own problems, but, you know, they offer fair prices. They support moddings. They have no monthly fee. They listen to the community. And like if you just look at the payable mods recently where the community said that's a shit idea and then they actually took it out again. So basically, they're just not behaving like giant power hungry cocks, you know, and if I see a company doing that, whether it is Microsoft, Sony or even EA, I made a video about that a while ago. Like, I don't want to support this company. And I have a problem with behaving like this, behaving anti-consumer, right? I hate that shit. So maybe we can have a discussion going on in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts. That would be much appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, you can obviously also leave me a like or subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, guys, take care, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.